The first week of the Tennessee legislative session has come to a close and Representative John Crawford joins us to talk a little bit about the first week of the session and how it went. We are so glad you're here. Thanks for joining Good us. Good to be here. Now I know a little the first week is a lot of housekeeping. Um, housekeeping things, but one of the things that you needed to talk about were the rules that everybody is hopefully going to abide by during the session. Tell us a little bit about that. That's correct. Uh, we we didn't have a whole lot of rule changes, but we did have a few and we're just hoping uh, to make things go a little smoother and make sure everybody's voice is heard. Mm -hmm. There's 95 of us representatives and if one or two people dominate the time all the time, then those people aren't representatives because their representatives can't, you know, uh, speak for them. Sure. So uh, a lot of the rules hinge around just making sure it's fair for the Democrats and for the Republicans mm -hmm. and to make things more organized, hopefully to have a better session and get more productivity out of our time. Because there are a lot of things I'm sure that want to be discussed. Did you talk about any specific topics this week or was it mostly about rules? It was mostly organizational things sure. that we have to go by um, our opening and closing and those type things, getting committee assignments and mm -hmm. chairmanships and those type things ready for actually taking up business. Uh, some of the things that I heard, uh, you, of course, the um, big thing, I guess, that was discussed and talked around amongst representatives mm -hmm. is the um, scholarship program. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's early in the process. Uh, we've not actually seen the bill. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't. And uh, when the governor drops that, then we're hoping to um, look at it, see what it actually does. And, you know, when a bill starts, it very rarely ends up as it started. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of amendments and things that's sure. done to it. So we really won't know what that process is and what it does actually until we start seeing those things. A lot of people keeping their eye on the school voucher program uh, from the governor and to see, you know, what it's going to do when it when it runs through um, committees and and voting and everything. Uh, what are some of the other topics that you are looking at that you think are going to be brought up? Well, I think uh, as a representative and as a general assembly member, we're going to really focus on some of the things uh, education. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we made a huge investment, probably the largest uh, investment in our teachers in the since Tennessee has begun. Uh, we know that they are our uh, future, our children, and so we want to make sure we have the best qualified teachers. They're getting the best education, so education will be a big focus. Uh, security uh, for our citizens and uh, public safety, those type things mm -hmm. are always an issue, and, and we will continue to work towards those things, hopefully, to make our, our areas safer mm -hmm. and to uh, hopefully put a little, um, I guess, safety minded things within people's mm -hmm. minds so they're very careful because it's a different world we live in. Sure. We touched on this earlier last year, pretty contentious uh, in Nashville. What are you what are you hoping happens this year as far as everybody, the rules that have been set already this year? What do you hope to see as far as that goes? Well, one of the rules that we put into place and, of course, was voted on by the General Assembly is on very um, big bills, let's mm -hmm. just put it that way, contentious bills, sure. that uh, the, the two leaders of the House, Democratic Party and Republican Party, can go to the Speaker and say, hey, this is a very important issue and we need to discuss this. We need to make, every, make sure everybody's voice is heard mm -hmm. and he can set a time limit that says that we're going to discuss this for an hour and or he may say two hours whatever he decides uh, for discussion time will be divided evenly mm -hmm. amongst the Democratic Party and the Republican Party so kind of like they do at the federal government you'll have so much time and you can pass that time back to somebody else all right, so we're looking forward to a lot of things getting done in Nashville. Representative Crawford, thank you so much for being here. We look forward to speaking with you again. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right.